Another Yeezy review? Yes, another Yeezy review. And don't be shocked if you see more coming on this channel because they're coming thick and fast and they're kind of fire. What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another sneaker review and this is for the Yeezy 700 V2 Vanta. Yes, it is Yeezy season again, loads of Yeezys coming out, bunch of 350s, bunch of 700s. I actually forgot that this is actually the second V2 that's come out. I, for some reason, felt that like there was more, but literally is the second V2. Been a bunch of V1s, but the V2's back. And it's back in its standard uh, Yeezy box, brown box, 700 on the top, boost on the side, boring, let's get to the shoe. And boom, here is the shoe in all its black glory, black, Are really calling this black? I don't know. So let's first start off with the name of the shoe. This is called the Vanta. Uh, when the first pictures came out, everyone was like, yes, praise the Lord. Finally, a triple black Yeezy is coming out. Everyone's excited. I was excited. But the more we saw the pictures, we were like, that's not triple black. And we should have known because this is typical Kanye West. Whenever we're teased of what a color is going to be, it never seems to work out to being what we first saw. I remember mean, with the utility black 500, I thought that was going to be a triple black shoe. Definitely wasn't triple black. And once again, it's not triple black, but the colorway is called Vanta. So I did a little Google on what Vanta is. I was thinking maybe it's like some sort of version of a black color, but it turns out that Vanta isn't even a color. It's like a material, it's supposed to be like the darkest material that exists. And this is definitely not the darkest material because it's kind of gray to me and kind of purple. Uh, salute to my boy Dean. We've been debating this on and off for time now. This midsole in certain light looks purple as uh, it's like a mauvey purpley weird color but right now looking at it in this light it looks black to me but i don't know what it's even going to come out like on the computer or yeah to you guys watch watching it i did go onto um photoshop and lightroom and i was playing about with the purple slider and it definitely was changing the hue of this so it could be the camera or it could be that it is actually kind of purplish but i digress let's get to the review and the details of this shoe so while this shoe is technically like your standard Yeezy 700 V2, there is some differences from the Static, which is the only other pair that we have seen so far. Um, whereas on the Static, a lot of these sort of suede bits here that you see on the medial side, same bits that you also see here on the toe box, they were all leather on uh, the Static pair. Whether you prefer the leather or the suede, up for debate, they both look cool. I think possibly, I think black leather might not have actually looked as cool on the shoe, so I kind of get the design choice, but it is dope on the static, so I do like that. Another difference is this sort of black pattern that you see in between here. Normally it was this sort of mesh that was like, kind of reminding me of the off-white Prestos, like how thick the holes were and stuff, where well, this one is more of a tightly, tightly knitted material, and this is the bit that's actually black. If you want to call anything Vanta black, you call it these little parts here and this little part here. That is more of that dark black colorway. The rest of the shoe, these um, suede bits, they're kind of light dark, not light gray, dark gray uh, to me. Doesn't mean it's not fire, but just don't expect to get like an all blacked out, triple black shoe like Super Ninja. It's definitely not that, but it is still fire. Uh, this shoe is pretty much brandless when you see it from like, just looking at it, it could be anything. But it is technically, I guess you would call it the three stripes hair on the side of the shoe, again, with the static pair, this was all 3M, whereas on this pair, it's only this sort of top stripe. I don't even know if that even counts as part of the three stripes, because it's kind of one, two, three, and the top stripe. And that one there is 3M on this shoe. Uh, back of the shoe again, more of that suede, more of that tightly knitting Vanta black, I guess. And you get more 3M hits around these little ankle bits here. Ankle collar of the shoe, pure black. And the medial side of the shoe, again, pretty much exactly the same. Nothing different to the lateral side of the shoe. Uh, the midsole is what makes the shoe a big deal to a lot of people. This chunky midsole, full of boost. And finally, they added back the 3M hits on the little sort of back heel of the shoe here 
on the statics, this bit was just clear. It didn't have any 3M at all. Whereas they've added it back, even on my Salt 700 V1s, they were also just plain and didn't have the 3M, which was a bit of annoying. I think this part here is also 3M as well, so you'll see it in the pictures that I take and all that. Uh, inside the shoe says Yeezy Ortholite with the insole, and the bottom of the shoe is pure black again, and you see the little white pods here for where the boost sticks out. Every Yeezy review I say it that I kind of forget that these shoes are boost shoes because it's so chunky, this is expected to be a stiff, heavy, chunky shoe, but it is actually super comfortable because it is a boost shoe. With my Yeezys, like all my Yeezys now, I go up a full size. I believe in these, um, you could probably get away with going half a size up. That's what most people do anyways, but me with my big wide feet, I go for a full size up and it makes it more comfortable for me. So I think if I was gonna recommend it to most people, I'd probably say go half a size up. But for me, I go full size up, just so you know. Uh, laces on the shoe comes with these standard black flat, um, I guess they're kind of ropish, kind of ovalish uh, laces on this shoe. Would have been nice if they had those sort of black static laces that you found on the 350s. My boy Seb put them on his and actually looked pretty dope. So it's an option, but I'd probably buy some because I don't want to take them off the statics because they set the statics off nicely. The tongue has that tightly knitted woven pattern again in that Vanta black and running upside the lace loops is more of that dark gray suede. And I think that is pretty much it for the shoe. So I'm gonna chuck it on feet, show you what they're like, Lego. And we're back. So that was a quick look at the Yeezy 700 V2 Vanta on feet. As I said, very comfortable, I must say. Way more comfortable than the 350s for me because I find them to be a bit of a more wide shoe compared to the 350s. The 350s, it's never really been like a toe area where I get pain, but it's like the width of the shoe. I eventually get some sort of pain on it. And I also find the V2s more spacious in the toe box than the V1s. The V1s, the Wave Runners, feel a bit square and my toe feels, it doesn't feel squashed, it just feels a bit funny compared to these. So definitely way more comfortable in this pair. Also I notice a little bit more 3M, you've got some 3M hair on the lace, the first lace loop and obviously along the bottom of the shoe hair. I did bring the statics with me, not with me because they're just on the box over there, to give you a little comparison side by side so you can see what they're like. Obviously one's black, one's sort of white and greyish. The statics are freaking fire, I must say. The more I see them, I'm like, why don't I rock this shoe all the time? Because it's super duper dope. But yeah, with this shoe, as I was saying before, with the 3M, it's only the top line on this one, whereas on this shoe, every single one of these lines is 3M. But again, on this little part here on the sole, on the midsole, this bit is not 3M where it is on this bit. So there's some little tiny differences. And obviously the material on the toe box is totally different. One's leather, one is this suede, and one has this sort of wo um, woven knit pattern. This one has this sort of tightly woven knit pattern. But both fire shoes and both must haves, especially if you're a Yeezy fan. But yeah, end of the video, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. Hit the bell icon, I've got loads of reviews to do and loads of sneaker content coming your way. So check that out. Follow me on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers. Dope pictures pretty much every single day. I'm out. Hey, y'all.